welcome to our news channel please subscribe to the channel thank you hello good evening and welcome the headline of our news here says supreme court fixed date to hear yedio has fresh application okay guys before we look at the details of the story please if this is your first time seeing this article this video please kindly promote us by hitting on the red subscribe button below the video and please don't also forget to hit on the bell button beside the subscribe so you won't miss any of our news here thank you the supreme court has fixed tuesday february 18th for hearing in a fresh application by the former governor of emo state emeka yedioha emeka yedioha is challenging the judgment earlier delivered on january 14th 2020 a message was circulated on Saturday announcing the hearing date, but one of the lawyers representing Governor Hope Uzodima, Festus Jumbo, said although he had he heard about the new date, the office has not been served the hearing notice. The Director of Information of the Supreme Court, Dr. Akandi, confirmed the date for the case. Iedioha is the in a, in the application dated february 5 2020 and brought through his counsel and former attorney general of the federation and minister of justice kanu agabi is praying the apex court to set aside the judgment yedioha and pdp listed five grounds which they said the apex court aid in a, in arriving at its decision to nullify the march 9 2019 election and the close of the winner of the election after the, he presented excluded result from 388 polling units. The fresh application is brought under Section 6 of the Nigerian Constitution, 1999, and Section 22 of the Supreme Court of the Supreme Court Act, 2004. A seven-member justice had unanimously ruled that. Uzodima, who is of the APC, proved the allegation of unlawful exclusion of result in 388 polling units of the state where he scored 213,695 votes. The late judgment read by Justice Kadurat held that the Court of Appeal was wrong to have ruled that the PW54 suspended police deputy commissioner who produced the document of the result was not the proper person to tender same as he was not at the polling unit. Yedioha of the PDP had pulled 273,404 votes for the election in 27 local government areas of the state. Action Alliance candidate Uche Nwosu pulled 190,364 votes and APGA's Ifeyi Ararume pulled 114,676 votes. With the addition of the excluded vote, Uzodima's vote now rose to 310,153. A Tuesday, February 18th, has been fixed for the hearing in the fresh application by uh, Chief Emeka Hedioha of Imo State. You recall that uh, on the 14th of January 2020, Hedioha was sacked from the office of the governor and Uzodima was announced the new governor of the state, though Uzodima has been sworn in as the new governor of the state. Emeka Yudeha now went back to the court and said no, that he's challenging the, the, the case, that the court should revisit the case. And the court has finally accepted, and they said on Tuesday they will, they will hear uh, the hearing of Uzo, uh, Emeka Yudeha's case will start. Okay, guys, that's not where I am interested. Where I am interested is this. Do you think a Mecca Yedio going back to court is the right thing to do? Do you think a Mecca Yedio will have a chance of coming back as the governor of Imo State? Kindly hit on the comment section of the video and drop your thoughts concerning, concerning this story. Thank you. Okay, next day on the news, Governor Ye Somwe of River State on Saturday came down hard on the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adams Oshimele, describing Oshimele and, and his associates as political arm robbers. Rika said Oshimele was resisted by River's people from stealing their mandate in the last general elections. Hence, he bitterness towards River State. Rika, who stated that he is not a violent politician, emphasized 
that under no circumstances will river people allowed Oshimole and his associate rob them of their mandate. The river's governor called for the resignation of Adams Oshimole in view of his failure to stop the inauguration of Bayesa state governor as he boasted. Speaking in Port Harcourt, he said, This is a country where you see people who do not have character. Today they sing a song, tomorrow they sing another song. I think Oshimole as the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, is not a character that anybody should associate with. First of all, first of all I have never been violent and I will never be violent. However, when you see an armed robber come to your house, will you plead with the armed robber and say, please, I beg you, leave my house? People think that armed robbers are only those who cut away people's money. The worst form of armed robbery is when you steal people's mandate, and that is what Oshimole is noted for. He thinks because he is in the ruling party, he can use security to steal the mandate of the people. He was taught a lesson, a bitter lesson, and I want to repeat, if you come to steal our mandate, the people will respond accordingly. They will oppose your stealing of their mandate and so Oshimole think that because he is in the ruling party, nobody should say anything or do anything, anything. Stealing is not only when you go to rob a bank. The worst form of armed robbery is when you steal the mandate of the people. We can describe Oshimole as a politician without character. He noted that the APC national chairman is always driven by survival instinct. He stated that Oshimole cannot lay claim to have to have conversed for one man, one vote, because he is not practicing the philosophy. When Jonathan made sure the election was free and fair, Oshimole came to the villa and thanked Jonathan. When Jonathan left, left office, one of the reasons I don't go to net meeting is because of Oshimole. When Jonathan left, there was no day at the net meeting Oshimole would not bring Jonathan down. Meanwhile, that was the same man Oshimole went to praise for allowing one man one vote. But when the man left, Oshimole changed. changed. That is his character, he said. We can say that Oshimole became governor through questionable means. He noted that the questionable emergency of Oshimole led to constitutional ab amendment for governorship matters to terminate at the Supreme Court. He said Nigerians knew one matter that led to the amendment of the Electoral Act, where governorship election has to go to the Supreme Court is because of the Oshimole matter. So, he cannot come out and say he was clean in terms of electoral processes. That would be very bad. Okay, guys, uh, this is coming from uh, Governor Wike of River State. He is giving it hard on Oshimole, the national chairman of the APC. He said that uh, Oshimole said he fought Godfatherism and the same thing he wants to install himself as a godfather in a do state why is he fighting obaseke because the man doesn't take instruction from him he preached what he doesn't practice the reverse governor maintained that oshimole lacks the powers to challenge the pronouncement of the supreme court we can say that oshimole stopped questioning his membership of pdp is the intelligent is the unintelligent talk of an illiterate, declaring that he is a strong and unrepentant member of PDP. He said that he speaks out his mind at all times, does, does not mean that his membership of PDP is in doubt. We can say that he is not at the same level with Oshimole. He noted that what Oshimole is doing is to regain the confidence of APC governors and leaders. So he should face his problems, but shame should be on him that at the end of the day that the PDP candidate has been sworn in in Bayesa state as the governor of Bayesa. You can't come out and open your mouth and say it will never happen. Now it has happened. If I were him, I will resign. I will leave. I am not his friend, so he cannot say he is my friend. How can I be a friend to somebody who will say one thing today, tomorrow he says another thing. In the night, he visits so, he visits so, so persons, he visits so, so persons. That's not me. When I want to see you, I see you in the daytime. Oshimule visit people at night. It is very, very unfortunate for him and I pity him. 
all his effort to regain his chairmanship has failed. All he is doing today is because the governors and some leaders of the party are saying that his man cannot lead a party. Oshimele has failed. Let him resign. Okay, guys, this is coming from Governor Wike. He says that uh, Oshimele is a failure. He should resign because uh, uh, you recall that uh, Oshimele said, boasted that they cannot swear in uh, the new uh, uh, bias state governor that they will be no governor and at the end of the day the new governor was sworn in and uh, he was not able to stop that process so because of that uh, governor wiki of river state said he should resign for not stay staying through okay guys what do you think about this story can you hit on the comment section of the video and drop your thought thank you